everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. We're here today for episode three of Stitcher's Haberdashery, where we make sewing themed, stitching themed um, ephemera. So today I'm going to be inspired by a couple of vintage things. Um, these. These are old yarn sample cards um, that are from yarn companies. Um, this was from an estate that I inherited um, of a we from a weaver who um, used to have her own large weaving store business. So um, you could get, and you still can get if you are a retailer of wool, um, these kinds of sample cards. So yarn uh, sample cards. That's where I'm going to go with this today. So. Um, a couple things. So I'm going to actually use index cards for this project. I'm going to make them a little smaller. You could make them full size. Um, and I'm going to use some stamping and um, just kind of make them a little more fun and not as utilitarian. They're not going to have business names or anything like that. But you could go very authentic. And if you have number stamps, you could also give numbers or maybe names to the various things that you're going to thread here. So I'm going to just set these aside. And also you could put a staple at the top because they were typically stapled to something like an invoice or um, something, you know, like a, a price list or something like that. So you could make it as vintage authentic as you'd like. Um, so what I'm planning to do is use these index cards um, to be my my sample cards. And I put together just um, for, some for purposeful stamping, the word stitchery. And I've also got these little stamps that I got from um, the uh, your creative studio and I'm going to punch my holes with um, the crocodile. So this is going to be quite an easy peasy project actually. Um, so what I'm going to start by doing is just taking my stamp that says stitchery and stamping that on the top of my cards. Um, whoops. I need to <laughs> only do one at a time. I think we'll do three today just because that's a good number. Okay. Just put that back here. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and punch the holes and I'm going to use the larger of the two holes on this one. So the um, 3 16th and then um, try to keep them relatively straight if you can. And you could use all sorts of different things in these holes, you know, commercial yarn. I'm going to use some hand spun yarn. You could use embroidery floss. Um, you know, you could do a full, um, a large full range of like the whole, you know, all of the color, like this is the full range of colors, you know, and you could do both sides. Um, what I'm going to do instead though, is I'm just going to create some fun um, stamped cards that have like, just a little bit of stamping on them. Oops. Slippery fingers today. <laughs> and this is just a really simple little technique today. Okay. And then I think I'll put a second one on there because these are kind of similar sprigs. Let's get rid of that little piece of yarn. 
So these theoretically could have journal space on both front and back. You could obviously make them busier. You know, I'm just going to kind of keep it simple. So for the first one, I'm actually going to use my own hand spun yarns. So this is where you could put like your numbers, right? Or your colorways. You could give them each names. Like maybe you'd call this one um, bubblegum or something like that. So this is a relatively bulkier weight yarn. So I'm just going to try to pop it in and just pop your loop through and then you can kind of slip knot it because that's actually how these are done. They're all slip knotted like that. And you could make them as short or as long as you like. I'm just going to kind of go with the length that I cut these at. And I think these would be nice tuck spots. They would be nice journal cards. But just another kind of um, ephemera idea that I think goes along with um, button cards and all those kind of things. And you could work in color themes, like if you were doing, you know, a purple journal, you could do five shades of purple or, you know, 50 shades of gray, <laughs> whatever you like. Um, yeah. But it's a pretty quick and really beautiful technique. So like now you have this pretty piece of ephemera, right? Very easy. And then I thought I would also try with this. This is um, sari silk that's been pulled out of one of those woven mats. And I'm, this one's a little thicker, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and try to tie a knot with these. Because, you know, you could do like fabric samples as well. this one. This one I think I could make a little thinner. These are a little bit thick actually. We'll see if we can tear that. There we go. I'll use that side because it tore a little more evenly. It's a very weak fabric. <laughs> okay, let's try this one and see if it acts a little better. It is, after all, sorry waste, so it's not surprising it's a little weaker. It's just going to be a teeny one. That's okay. It's actually kind of cute at length. These are the worst scissors for fabric. Oh my goodness. <laughs> not fabric scissors in case you were wondering <laughs> there we go these are my little fabric scrappies bag here there we go and i need one more i think we'll go with more of this purple because it's just very pretty we'll do two purple ones not too bothered by that <laughs> So there it is with um, scrappy fabric. Then um, you, 
could also use um, laces. So let's try it with a lace. And probably these will be fine enough to um, thread them like the yarn. Lace sample card. Just looking at my uh, my little pile of laces next to me here. I've got all sorts of different lace all hanging next to me. Ribbons and lace. You could also, um, if you were using a thinner paper and you were worried about like giving these a tug, you could use those um, hole protectors to um, just protect your paper from tearing if you're going to be tugging. Mine seems to be fine because it's a little bit thicker because it's an index card. Um, just grab another piece of lace here. Oops. That one's not going to work. That one is too much, too easy to fray. Hmm. Just hunting through lace. <laughs> okay, I think I've got one. Here we go. Whoops. like the lace one I think. One more to go. I think um, I would just do a little inking here. Oh, there it is. I was looking for my, my brown inker that's over here. Okay. So just kind of like, you know, give this a little ink to give it a little bit of a more vintagey kind of look. You could also do that to your laces if you wanted to make it look like it had been you know traveling in a trunk or something and <laughs> had taken a trip we have created some nice little um, relatively blank um, journal cards so that you could have writing space on front and back. These could be put into a journal um, in a lot of different ways. You could do it as a tuck spot and glue it down here and here. Um, you know, it could pop into something on this side and these could hang out of your journal. You know, if this was a, we could say like this was a pocket and you know, you could stick it in here and this could hang out the side of your journal. Um, you know, you could also do them this way and it could hang down or up. 
Um, so yeah, that's my little share for today on how to make sample cards of yarn, fabric, and lace and ribbon. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me for this little video. Um, if you are looking for these, you can find them often um, in thrift stores, estate sales, sometimes yard sales. Um, look for people who are knitters, crocheters, weavers, you know, like people who sell yarn, collect yarn, etc. Um, these ones are from the 70s, I think. And um, you could also talk to your local yarn store and see if they have any sample cards they're looking to get rid of um, or reach out to yarn companies. You can actually order them online the same as you can like DMC um, embroidery, like um, sample cards and stuff but they may be a little less expensive um you may may be able to get them for a little less expensive so anyhow that's it for me for today have a great day if you haven't yet subscribed i would love it if you did um i make these stitchery videos sort of as random spatterings throughout um other videos that i'm doing it's just kind of a series that happens here and there right now um i have a few more planned and i will talk to you all again soon bye for now